Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning how they lied to us about many things. But one particular thing I want to point you to is that Jesus and Mary's story that they interpret to you from the Bible and they make you believe that it is literal and that it is secular history. Well, the good news is that you can learn to think for yourself and realize that it is a lie. And I'm going to show you simple how to prove it for yourself. But let me say that everything that I'm saying to you is because of what I would have experienced. So let me just go straight to it and let you know that I would have experienced the birth from above, the birth from the skull, from right here, the virgin birth. And that's how I come to know that the virgin birth and the resurrection is the same experience. And both the virgin birth and the resurrection will take place the same night. Because as I, as I mentioned, it's the one and same experience. You see, many people speak about the sacred secretion. And they call it the Christus or the Christ oil. Many people speak from theory, but when I speak, I'm not theorizing. I am telling you my experience. And I can definitely tell you that this oil is at the base of your spine. And when it's been activated, you will definitely ascend. But you will definitely hear the unearthly wind, that mighty rushing wind. And then you will understand what it means in the Bible to have the upper room experience. And when they talk about cloven tongues of fire, it is because you will discover your fiery self. You would discover that you are a spark of light. And that spark is the God spark that is within you that you would ignite and you will ascend. Also, you would experience the great earthquake, that great reverberating, that great shaking, that great vibration. And that's how you would know that everything is actually based on energy, vibration, and frequency. Then you will also understand why the Bible speak about the great earthquake. And it tells you that the earth opened. And those who would have died came out of the graves. It is you who would find your body to be the grave in which Christ is buried. So my brothers and my sisters, when they point you to believe in a man 2,000 years ago, what they're doing, they're planting an idol in your mind. That is why no one can literally point you to a specific individual and say that is Jesus. Because Jesus exists in your imagination, which means that your imagination was before Jesus, your imagination was before religion, your imagination was before politics, your, your imagination was before even the past education, or the past education system, I should say. You see, when you realize that everything was false a thought, everything was false an idea, and everything was false imagined, you would realize that God in man is definitely man's awareness of being. That is why you have to seek to know who you are. And when you really find out who you are, then you know that there's no outside savior and there's no man coming back for you. Now, remember I said earlier on that I'm going to show you simply how to prove that these things are not so. For example, right, if you look around and you look at nature, you'll see that Every seed and every species always bring forth after its own kind. Because whatever life is in the seed, that is the fruit that it will, will bring forth. Now, there are millions of people around the world, if not billions of people, 
who believed that there was a man who existed 2,000 years ago with special powers. And they believe that man put away his physical body and now he's living inside of them in spirit once they accept him as their personal Lord and Savior. Well, basic common sense will teach you that if you really accept this man as your personal Lord and Savior and you want to become like him and that life is in you, you must produce what he did produce. So if he did work on literal water, why is it no creature cannot work on literal water? You see, they will tell you that that part of scripture is not literal, but they will tell you the others are literal. They will tell you that it is um, symbolic, but they will never tell you from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22 is all symbolic and it's all parabolic. They would not do that. They try to pick out some and say, say that, but the, I'm telling you the entire book is like that. Okay. Now, have you ever seen any preacher who take literal water and turn literal water into wine? They can't do that. Okay, they cannot call a literally dead person from the grave. So, my brother, my sisters, the Bible is actually a book of mind science, and it must be understood metaphysically and esoterically. It must be understood psychologically. And you definitely have to use your psyche to disagree with me. You see, when I, when I tell people that the Bible is all mental, it's all psychological, they use their, their mental to disagree with me and they don't even realize it. That's how brainwashed people can be. You see, the sign of the cross is a sign of slavery. It is a sign of death. It is not a sign of a life. Okay? And so, my brother and my sisters, when you realize that your true essence is invisible and not visible, then you will realize that you have a non-physical existence. So you are a non-physical being living in a body and you vibrate and frequency. And you are actually a mass of energy. You see, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but energy can be transmuted. That's why everything you see in this world that come from science and technology and everything that they tell you it came from this inventor or that inventor. It was for us a thought, it was for us an idea, it was for us imagine, but moreover, it was for spirit being manifest into the physical three-dimensional realm, the realm of matter. So very few people understand the spiritual science of the inner walking of alchemy. But when you really understand that you're an alchemical being and there's an alchemical substance, which is the invisible substance from which you draw from to your thoughts, you realize that your thoughts are vibrational frequencies and then you have to vibrate and a certain way of thinking to experience a certain way of living. So you can live your life on this planet as a fool or you can live as one that is wise. That's why even the Bible in parables tell you that there's only two kind of people on this earth. And they call them the wise and the foolish virgin, those who have the oil and those who didn't have any oil. And so my brother, my sisters, many preachers, speak on the scripture, but they do not understand what it's all about. But I want to say to you who are open-minded and who are willing to unlearn and relearn and reprogram your subconscious mind, I want to say to you that if this message is resonating with you, it is because it is for you, because it is not everybody going to receive this message of self-realization. You see, there's only one religion in this world. Is the religion of self-knowledge. Is the religion of self-realization. And that is what they don't want you to know. That's why they give you an outside Lord and Savior and Master. They give you an idol. And they make sure to plant that idol in your mind. But I'm here to free your mind. I want to say to you that only you alone can emancipate yourself from mental slavery. No one else can do it for you. So the choice is yours. Are you going to accept your higher self?
to be your God self and accept that you can vibrate to a Christ consciousness or a state of mind where you know that you are the Christ, our God in flesh. So my brother and my sisters, Christ is not a man 2,000 years ago. It is an experience that you will have that will bring you to your Christ consciousness and help you to know who you are. So they lied to us about this man of 2,000 years ago. And as I come to a close here, the reason why I see it very important for me to make this video because right now the churches are filled with people every Saturday and every Sunday. Filled with the people who still believe that this thing is true the way it always been interpreted to them. And to make matters even worse, they make sure to indoctrinate our children in the schools, in the islands. And so every morning, the children have to say prayers to Jesus. And at lunchtime, before they have their lunch, and after their lunch, they have to go back in again and give praise. And then in the evening, before they leave to go home, they have to do that. All of that is a program that they program the children. Okay? Because they're actually penetrating the subconscious mind at that very young age. That is why so many of our people are so ignorant and so religious and so superstitious. And they're one chap minded. And many of them believe they could read one book and, and they know everything. They, they, they believe that the Bible is definitely the word of God. And they believe God is a man in the sky. And they really believe that Jesus really did die on a cross. Because they believe Jesus was a man who existed 2,000 years ago. But that's not true. Okay? We are living in a mental construct. All is mind. Everything is mental. Everything is psychological. If you do not have your awareness of being, you won't be alive. Listening to me. So my brother and my sisters, when your higher self or your God self would have done all that must be accomplished in this physical body or this house. Then you leave this house and you move on. So there's no need to be afraid of death. Death is just a metamorphosis. Okay? So a birth is a death and a death is a birth. You have to understand that. You cannot die if you never live. So when, once you understand these things and you're willing to accept that you're a spirit having a human experience, I'm saying to you, everything will change in your life for the better. And you will no longer be living under doubt, uh, fear, guilt, shame, judgment, condemnation, and all these things that they bring up on you to religion. But my brother, my sisters, as I end here, I want to say to you, True salvation is self-realization. The kingdom of God is within you. All the answers of life that you ever need is within you. The Savior is within you. The Redeemer is within you. Everything you will ever desire, you can find it within yourself. So learn to believe in yourself, love yourself, and embrace yourself. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying, if it really makes sense to you. If it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I would also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina Mystery of the Virgin But Not forgetting also Spiritual Recipe for Better Living, plus my many other books and journals that are available on Amazon. Also, if you haven't become a part of my Patreon community, I'm definitely encouraging you to do so and to support this work. However, for those who are donating 20 or more dollars, I have a course there for you that is called The Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. So if you feel strongly led to listen to those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. So as I come to a close, I want to say to you to make sure that you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, 
Um, oh, 